Hello everyone, welcome back. This is the writing sample for the Caveco Dia 2 fountain pen. Uh, I'm using one of my favorite inks. This is the Diamine Asa Blue, very nice blue. We will start first with the uh, fine nib, a nib made out of steel. Yeah. So let's see how the pen writes. Okay. Okay, so we have the ink. Blue, nib, fine, steel nib, paper, this is 120 GSM paper by Mondi, made by Mondi. Okay, let's see lines. So, very good performance. You can feel the, the nib on the paper. This is not a um, you know, super smooth nib, but it's not scratchy at all, so it doesn't have a lot of feedback. It's, I think, the right amount of feedback. You still need to enjoy you know, writing with a fountain pen. In terms of ink flow, I think this is a generous ink flow I would say medium to wet or even wet the way I see it. This is a very absorbent paper. I have a Clairefontaine standing by and Tomoe River, so we'll see in a moment. Okay. So, um, very nice performance from the fine nib. Let's go on to the Tomoe River paper in cream color. So let's see. Okay. So the nib is a fine steel ink. And paper. This is Tomoe River paper. Fifty six GSM. Again, excellent writing experience. No issues whatsoever. This is this paper, it's of course one of the best papers. For the writing with the fountain pen, so let's see. You see, quite a wet flow. Okay. So this is the Tomoe River, and finally the Clairefontaine, 90 grams. <coughs> Sorry. So let's see. Okay, nib is fine. Steam. A 
again excellent performance not an issue pleasant writing experience let's see the ink flow again a wet writer not very wet it's just wet Okay, and now if you bear with me, I would like to exchange the nib, the nib unit. So to exchange the, the fine steel nib with a 14 karat gold medium nib. In a moment. Again, very easy. This is the gold the gold nib this is a do this is a big color or dual tone nib we have a silver finish and we have a gold finish okay very easy to install so this is one of the advantages of this fountain pen let me prime the the feed and the nib Okay, that's enough. And let's see how this nib will write. Okay, so So we have a medium fourteen carat gold nib. Ink is the same. And we have the same paper clear fontaine. So how this nib feels? Excellent. Um, it is very well polished, uh, very well done. It is true. It is a pleasure to write with. Okay, it is a joy. So let's see the writing, the line test. Okay, and now the ink flow again a right a wet writer I think an, an um, a wet writer really shows the beauty of the ink color you know a dry nib it doesn't uh, do justice to the to the color of the ink that you use in my opinion so a medium to wet or a wet writer I think it's the best <clears throat> type of nib sorry if you want to enjoy um, the color of your of the ink that you are using in my opinion so I hope you can see let's see let's do it like this the difference between the two it's not a lot but it is there so let me show you here we this is the, the fine nib and this is the medium nib okay hope the camera will focus well so yes there is a difference between the medium gold nib and the the fine steel nib okay that was the the Clairefontaine let's see the Tomoe River paper how it will behave with the gold nib okay so we have writing Sample. Kaveko dia tu. The nib is a medium. Fourteen k gold. Okay. C 
same type of ink. Same type of paper as before, so Tomoe. Okay, the line test. Excellent. Very good flow. Very good experience of the writing. Let's see the ink flow. Tomoya River paper <clears throat> is my favorite paper to write with the fountain pen. I think it, it brings out the, the color of the inks quite beautifully. So the colors of the inks stand out on, on this paper <clears throat> from my perspective. Okay, so let's compare it. This is the fine writing sample, the fine steel nib. This is the medium gold nib. And as with the Clairefontaine, let's do here some lines. And we have again, of course, a difference. So this is the fine and this is the medium. Okay. And the last type of paper. Sorry. <clears throat> The pen mania notepad so we have writing sample Kaeko Diatu A medium fourteen carat gold nib. The paper and the line test, yes. Again, excellent performance as with the other papers. And again, this paper is very absorbent. It's one of the main advantages of this notepad. Very nice. <clears throat> Uh, hopefully soon and when I say soon I hope in January I'm gonna have a fine gold nib for the dia 2 and I will uh, do a writing sample a dedicated writing sample for that nib um, maybe with a with the medium nib just to see and with the fine steel nib so this is the fine steel nib and here is the medium nib I'm not pushing the nib in any way, I don't like to do that, especially if we, especially because this is not a flexible nib, it is a small nib, so it doesn't make sense to, to push it. But again, you can see the difference between the, the two types of nibs. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I hope um, you find this writing sample uh, useful. Um, more pictures. And, um, and details in text you're gonna find on the dedicated um, blog post. Thank you for watching and we keep in touch for the next um, review video. Goodbye!